Hello everyone and welcome back to the part 2 of this tutorial. In our uh, part 1 we had seen how to install the gazebo roslink attacher package in our catkin workspace and we had seen uh, after launching our robotic arm simulation if the uh, ROS services created by the gazebo roslink attacher package are published successfully or not. Now in this part we will uh, create a python script which will help us to attach and detach the objects from the gazebo environment. So I will give the link to this Python script in the video description. You can download it from there. So first of all, we will uh, go to the terminal. Now we will go to our catkin workspace. So type the command, your catkin workspace name slash the uh, SRC folder, then your move it a manipulator package, then the scripts folder and press enter. Now we are in the scripts folder of your uh, move it robot arm simulation package. Now to create a new python file we can uh, use the command g edit then type the uh, name node attach underscore detach underscore objects underscore in gazebo dot py and press enter before you press enter make sure you have typed the name correctly and press enter so it will open a new blank python file again go to the browser and copy this file again i have provided the link in the video description to this file then go to the blank python file and paste the uh, code here and save the uh, python file i will quickly explain this file if you want you can skip this introduction so first of all we import the rospy library then from that gazebo roslink attacher package we had created that service from that service we import the attach attach request and attach response service messages then here we define a robotic gripper class here we have an uh, default constructor so here we define some variables like the robot name the end defector link name the box model name and the box link name then here we uh, create one service uh, for this link attacher node slash attach service and here we pass the attach message then we wait for the service and then once the service is available we uh, log the info on the terminal that the service is uh, created service proxy is created then again we create the service proxy to the another uh, service which is the link attacher node slash detach and similarly we wait for it to get uh, created the service proxy and again we log the message on the terminal and again we print like robotic uh, gripper initialization is done then we have this function attach objects uh, so uh, this function when called it will create a request uh, from the uh, attach request message then uh, to that we will add the model name uh, which is the uh, model uh, in which we will pass the robot name defined here then the link name the model name to and the link name to and then we will call the uh, attach service and uh, we will pass the uh, uh, the request that we created here and in this way it will attach the box to our robotic arm then here we uh, print that the object is attached uh, blah 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 then we have the another function detach objects and uh, again when this function is called it will create again another request uh, message then it will uh, pass the uh, model name one link name one model name two and link name two to this request uh, message and then it will call this uh, detach service and it will pass this uh, request we created here and then it will detach the object from our robotic arm end effector now as we have defined this variable empty here so in the main function we initialize the node rospy dot init node attach detach objects in gazebo and here we create a robot arm gripper object from the robotic gripper class and we set the empty variables uh, robot uh, names to the some values like the robot name to robot arm urdf so this is the uh, name of the urdf file of our robotic arm we just don't need to add the dot urdf extension then the end defector link name which is the link phi in our case then the box model name which is the package dollar uh, one and the box link name is the link now again if you go to your catkin workspace and uh, then you go to your move it uh, manipulator package and in the scripts then you open the file node spawn box models in gazebo so here you can see uh, we had set the uh, model name which is the package one that we had uh, passed to this create cube uh, request here the model name so this model name we have replaced with a model name so this model name was defined uh, here and the link name we had set to link so these are taken from this file 
so if you had given any different link name here uh, you need to enter that uh, link name here now uh, here we have this uh, loop while not raspi is uh, shut down and here we take some input from the terminal like enter attach to attach the object and uh, detach to detach the object and if the task is attached we call the function robotom gripper dot attach object otherwise if the task is detached we call the function robotom gripper dot detach object and if the user enters x we break the loop and quit the code now we have understood the code let's close this uh, editor open the terminal and type the ls command so you can see this node uh, attached detach objects in gazebo is uh, not executable yet so type the command sudo chmod plus x and the file name and press enter then give your linux password now uh, if you type the ls command you can see everything is green so our file is uh, executable now my raw simulation is already running so if you don't know how we launch this please watch my last tutorial so i will arrange the windows a little bit now i have arranged the windows so that you can watch all of them at the same time here in the first terminal my ROS master is running using the ROS core command in the second terminal my ROS simulation is running and in this third terminal we had created the python file which will attach detach objects in gazebo now in this terminal we will type the command cd the home symbol and our catkin workspace name and press enter and we will run the setup.bash file so type the command source devil slash setup.bash and press enter now uh, before we attach and detach the objects first we need to uh, spawn them in the environments of gazebo and rvids so here first of all we will spawn the box in the gazebo environment so we need to run the file which will spawn the uh, box in the gazebo environment so type the command ros run then your move it uh, manipulator package name uh, mine is move it robot arm sim and the python file name which is node spawn box models in gazebo.py and press enter so as you can see this blue box is added in our gazebo environment now open a new terminal so here we are already in our catkin workspace if you are not you need to type the command cd your move it symbol the home symbol and your catkin workspace name so here i will directly run the setup.bash file and then i will type the command and press enter now we will run the python file which will add the objects in our rvids environment so type the command ros run your move it uh, manipulator package name and then the python file name node add attached detach objects in rvids.py and press enter now you need to give the input command as add to add the object in rvis environment so here you can see the box is added in the rvis environment now uh, we have spawned the box models in gazebo and rvis now open a new terminal again run the setup.bash file so type the command source devil slash setup.bash and press enter now run the command uh, ros run your move it manipulator package name and the python file name node attach detach objects in gazebo.py and press enter after you run the script it will ask you for the input action like attached or detach so first of all we need to take our end effector near to our box before we attach it to our end effector so here in the uh, rvis uh, ui select the planning group as hand and select the goal state as a hand opened and click plan and execute so basically we have opened our end effector now select the uh, group planning group as arm group and select the uh, goal state as pick object so that if you see here in rvis uh, our robotic arm will uh, take the end effector near to our box then click on plan and execute 
Now uh, we can attach this box to our end effector without touching it, uh, touching the end effector links to the box. But if you want, what you can do here, you can go to joints. Before that, you can select here uh, planning group as hand. Then you can go to joints and you can zoom a little bit and you can adjust the uh, robotic end effectors so that it will be a little close to our uh, box. But if you see, uh, if the any of the link is showing red, you need to move it back and need to take it to the position such that none of the link is showing red or none of the link is interfering with your box. Otherwise, the planning will fail and uh, though you give the action to move the move to that position, it will fail. Now uh, click on plan and execute. So the end effector will move to the uh, angles that you have set in the joints using the sliders. Now uh, go to the terminal. Now uh, you need to go to the uh, terminal where your Python file is running uh, for uh, spawning, uh, attaching, detaching objects for RVs. And here you need to type the command attach and press enter. So you can see in the RVs environment, the box is turned to orange color, which means it is attached to the RVs uh, robot model. Now in the terminal where the script is running to attach and detach objects in gazebo, here give the input command as attach and press enter. So the box is attached to our end effector in gazebo as well as RVs. Now go to the RVs planning UI, go select the planning group as arm group and select the goal state as uh, opposite pose and click on plan and execute. So as you can see, the box is lifted in RVs environment as well as the gazebo environment. Now select the next uh, position as drop object, then click on plan and execute. Once the box is placed on the ground, select the planning group as hand, select the uh, position as hand opened and click on plan and execute. Then go to your uh, terminal in the last terminal where the script is running to detach the object from the robot end effector. Give the uh, command detach and press enter. So the box is detached from our gazebo uh, robot model. Now go to the terminal where script is running for RVs to attach detach objects and give the command detach and press enter. Now, as you can see in RVs, the box is turned to green color, which means it is detached. Again, select the planning group as arm group and select the goal state as uh, you can go to straight up and click on plan and execute. And your robotic arm will go to the straight position. Now here, if you see the scripts are still running and here, if you press control C, the script will not stop. So what you need to do is you need to type X and press enter. The script will exit and you need to do same for all the scripts which are still running. Like you need to give X small X as input and press enter. So in this way, we have learned how to uh, spawn the box models in our gazebo environment, our RVs environment. And we have also seen how to attach them to the uh, RVs uh, robotic model and as well as gazebo robotic model. In our next tutorials, we will add some more complicated stuff. Like we will add some objects, some tables and try to pick and place the objects from the uh, more larger uh, kind of shells or tables. So please stay tuned for the next tutorials. Thank you for watching my videos. Please hit the like button. If you like my videos, please share my videos with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe if you are new here. Thank you so much.